The recent approval of rivocicliv really confirms, in my mind, the data confirms that a CDK inhibitor should be used in the first line setting. And now, really, I'm looking at things that could really help my patient's lives be a little easier, including things like I'm excited about having the letrozole packaged with the rivocicliv. That seems like a small deal. But when you have one drug that you have to give for three weeks and then one week off and then one drug that you have to give every day, having a bubble package, just like you think about oral contraceptives where patients know, oh, it's day two, I'm going to take one of the letrozole and, you know, several of the ribocyclib, I think that's really going to make a difference. And so I'm excited to see how each of the um, companies that are manufacturing the CDK inhibitors will help us make our patients' lives easier by you know, patient education and information and even just the way that they're distributing the drugs. Um, because I think they're here to stay and I think the CDK inhibitors really are the standard of care for first-line treatment of recurrent or metastatic hormone-sensitive breast cancer.